All right, question of the week, Inblex Review number 11. Our question is, which chamber of the heart is responsible for pumping blood to the lungs? Is it A, the left atrium, B, the left ventricle, C, the right atrium, or D, the right ventricle? One more time, which chamber of the heart is responsible for pumping blood to the lungs? So I'll give you a few moments to work on this question and then we'll go ahead and head over to the explanation. All right, so in the community tab, I asked which chamber of the heart is responsible for pumping blood to the lungs. And unfortunately, we we did not have a good turnout. We only had four votes. I think this might have been because I posted it over the weekend and I wasn't aware that students <laughs> have lives and they don't want to study over the weekend. So I'll make sure to post any question on our community tab during the week. <laughs> but... We had 75% say that it was the left atrium, and then we had 25% say it was the right ventricle. So let's go ahead and cover this material and see what is the correct answer here. So the very first thing we need to understand are the different chambers of the heart. Now, I'm not going to cover all the structures of the heart. If you need a review of this, just click the link above where I go over the cardiac cycle of the heart. For the scope of this video, we're just going to cover what are the different chambers of the heart. So we have the right atrium, we have the right ventricle, we have our left atrium, and then we have our left ventricle. Now, it's important that we understand that our atria, which are these two right here, one and two, my right atrium and my left atrium, my atria receive blood. So blood is going to enter the heart through my atria. Now my ventricles discharge blood, meaning they're going to push blood to a certain area of the body. So I have my right ventricle and then I have my left ventricle. So from my answer choices, I can get rid of that left atrium and my right atrium, leaving me with either the left ventricle or the right ventricle being the correct answer. So we have a 50-50% chance of picking the correct answer here. So let's see which one is the correct answer. Well, notice that the right ventricle, when blood fills up in the right ventricle, it is going to discharge through the pulmonary arteries. Notice that the word pulmonary is in this structure. What does that mean? That means that this is going to go to our lungs and then it is going to return into the heart through the pulmonary veins and then it's going to fill up the left atrium, move through the bicuspid valve into the left ventricle. The left ventricle is going to push the blood through the aorta and to the rest of the body. So the correct answer here is our right ventricle because the right ventricle is going to move blood to the lungs. Make sure you understand that. The correct answer here is right ventricle. 25% of the four voters got this answer correct. Now, if you were part of the 75% that chose the left atrium, I would encourage you to check out my Patreon page where I currently have the cardiovascular review course up and running. It is available. It has study notes for you to fill out as you go over the course, as well as the ability to label the structures of the heart as you go along with the video. So I would encourage you to take advantage of this resource if you haven't already. Make sure you know this stuff, guys, before you go into the Inblex. It's very, very important. The Inblex is going to cover anywhere from 11 to 12 percent of of anatomy and physiology, meaning that there may be 11 to 12 questions out of 100 concerning material like this. So make sure you know this stuff. Y'all have a wonderful week ahead, and I will see y'all in the next question of the week. Y'all take care.